okay so uh, i hope you all are doing well and uh, i had a amazing amazing time yesterday uh, in the webinar where i spoke about uh, fatak repertory and boger bonding horsens repertory and i really had a good time and i think i shared a lot of ideas about boger bonding horsens repertory and how to use it it was a good time and let's see if i can do some sessions for all of you again so let's talk about the first remedy today from boric matira medica series um first remedy glycerinum so not much is actually known about this remedy but i want to talk to you it's very important as a remedy which is almost known as a remedy for nutrition in dynamized form in cases where there is marasmus weakness emaciation hormonal and metabolic problems um it's a very important remedy for rheumatism and uh, especially feet are very painful joints specifically um post nasal dripping also a very important key feature of this remedy uh, but typically uh, it's a remedy to be known in diabetes uh, with frequent urination it can be used in lower potency frequently exhaustion is one of the key features of this remedy even post influenza fever like sarcolactic acids you can think about so it should always be compared to acids and uh, yeah next remedy gnophilum i think the main key note of this remedy where i have used this uh, frequently is in cases of sciatica in case of rheumatism especially when along with this there is a lot of numbness sensation and early morning diarrhea think about this remedy unquestionable benefit in sciatica when numbness <coughs> of the affected part cramps in the calves intense pain along the sciatic nerve numbness alternates with pains better by drawing limbs up and flexing the thigh on the abdomen something where they are kind of putting the feet up like this um gouty concretions and uh, anterior crural neuralgia pain in the joint as if they lacked oil and uh, very important for back muscles and uh, back aches typically um also very important for colics colics uh it should always be compared to colocynth along with dysmenorrhea very painful menses um also for facial neuralgias we should think about it as well so backache better by resting the back little bit like ruta and natrum use i think it's a lesser used remedy hmm? gossypium or cotton belongs to malvel's family the main theme of uh, this 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 uh, malvel's family is too much of attachment you know sometimes you get too attached to someone and then detachment can be very difficult this kind of extreme attachment is the main theme of malvel's family of which gossypium tilia kola nut are important remedies <clears throat> even abroma augusta for that uh, matter gossypium is very important in today's time for polycystic ovarian diseases where the constant feeling the lady gets is that she is going to get the period but it's not starting so in this kind of emaciated tall uh, anemic chilly patients uh, think about gossypium pain in the ovaries also fibroadenum of the breast very important remedy uterine uh, sub involution fibroids back aches <clears throat> anorexia at the time of menses nausea um, also strong in this remedy and uh, cervical region pain where head tends to draw backward like this so this is gossypium more or less should be compared with sickle cor one more remedy for today granatum or pomegranate the fruit that we all having in the lockdown time it's very important for two or three condition which i have used number one which i have used it is in very difficult cases of vertigo constant vertigo constant vertigo uh especially with that 
a strong feeling of hunger so vertigo where there's a lot of hunger within and um, also history of lot of worms nausea salivation as well uh, abdominal colics around the umbilicus a little bit like epicac uh, itching in the anus this is typical with the uh, with the worms pain between the shoulders this i told you and um, also pain in the joints shoulder finger joints itching in the it's a very allergic remedy so itching in the palms um, acnes so yeah more or less this is granatum one more quick remedy gunpowder i've used this remedy very well i had a very interesting case of a very bad uh, abscess of a case uh, of a of a patient who had abscess in the palms not improving by anything and um, i gave him gunpowder in low potency frequently and that beautifully beautifully helps so very very difficult chronic suppurative uh, pathology osteomyelitis where silica hepar myristica is not helping think about gunpowder so i hope you are watching my lectures write to me how this boric series is going so it encourages me to write and uh, work harder for all of you